What's going on gamers? Today we're going over how to enable the console on CSGO. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell in order to stay updated on all of our future videos. In CSGO, playing the game can be a lot of fun, don't get me wrong, but maybe sometimes you want to change some things up that you can't really do in just the basic menus. So how do you do that without essentially cheating? Well, if you're running an Apex server, you can basically do anything you want because there's over 3,000 commands. And the list is long, trust me. Across this wide variety, surely there will be things that you want to edit in your commands, but you have to know how to do that in the console. So that's what we're covering today. To enable the in-game console, you're going to want to open the game, of course, and go into the Settings tab. Underneath the Game tab, one of the first few options at the top should be Enable Developer Console. You're definitely going to want to switch this to Yes, otherwise this won't work at all. Now, whether you're in-game or in a lobby, you can open up the developer console and type in whatever command you want. For example, cl underscore show FPS 1 makes the FPS show on the screen. Now, there might be some times where you can't really find what you're looking for in the settings tab, so there's of course the search tab up at the top, which will definitely help. All you gotta type in is developer and it'll take you straight there. Now, if you have it set to yes and for some reason, there's no console showing up when you're clicking the tilde button, it could be because the binding is incorrect. If this is the case, just head over to your keyboard and mouse area in the settings, and you're going to scroll down until you see toggle console. If it's not set to tilde, set it to tilde or whatever button you want for console. Hopefully this short and sweet tutorial helped guide you to what you needed to do for your console. Of course, if you're running the Apex server, this will open up a whole wide variety of things for you considering how many commands there are out there. And if you're playing online and just want to see some FPS, for example, then you can do that too. Well gamers, that'll just about do it for this video. As always, I hope that you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.